Who is the biggest gang in town? Who comes on with a blast? Who is the most corrupt in the town? Jeez. The police departments. That's who. This. You know, when I see stories like this, it all the more. Um, it just reiterates for me that we're going to have to find a different way of policing. This antiquated way that we are governing society is not going to make it. It is not going to work. It's not going to be able to sustain itself. Just like all the other institutions are crumbling apart. That's what's going to happen with the police departments. People are not going to continue to be abused by the police um, to a degree where you can't tell who's the good guy or the bad guys. I know a lot of you suburbanites um, don't want to believe that. But at some point, a lot of y'all, I mean, actually it's getting to the point where a lot of you guys have seen enough footage now where you do believe it. And you have read enough footage and seen enough examples where you know that they patrol differently in certain neighborhoods and you're glad that you're not in that neighborhood, okay? Because because most of y'all know that we are being mistreated, you you know you just you just glad it ain't you, okay? And and I, I get it, I get it, but you definitely know something is wrong going on. But this story right here just touches to the blatant disrespect that they have for not only um themselves their constituents, the people in the community. This story right here, that's why I believe they all should be wiped out. The whole police departments need to be shut down and they need to infuse it with some different uh, energy, different officers. Those are going to weed out the ones that are um, like George Zimmerman and um, Derek Chauvin, a uh, prosecute. That's why we have to have we had to have that immunity, uh, qualified immunity, and the fact of the matter is, um, these people do not value the oaths they even took them they own self, so they're corrupt. And when you know something and it's corrupt, you got to get rid of it. There's just no way around it. Is this nothing? Let me just read the story, okay? Because I'm hoping that the two minutes have passed because, you know, I, I really don't want this video flagged or anything. Okay. This, you know, now I know this, this, oh God, this just pisses me off that somebody could be so disrespectful. Um, Graphic photos of Kobe Bryant and daughter Gianna taken after a helicopter crash were shown at bars and a media awards gala by at least 28 police officers and at least 12 firefighters. Is, uh, 12 fighter fighters, uh, Vanessa Bryant claims. Now, how hideous and disrespectful is that? I mean, and these are supposed to be law enforcement officers, people that y'all saying that we should deem, let alone how they treat people on the street. This is the heart of them. The ones who were involved, the one who picked, all of them should be fired. They don't have the right energy, the right spirit, the mind, right mindset to try to govern and be a Khalifa over somebody. What the... They took the damn pictures to an award show? Y'all know that's wrong. Come on, y'all. 
this got to be the most barbaric. And I didn't want you to listen to these this this these trash bags. Graphic photos showing the bodies of Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, just hours after they were killed in a helicopter crash, were passed around by at least 28 police officers and at least a dozen firefighters in bars and at media gala awards. Awards gala, I'm sorry. In a new court filing, the claim. The claims were made in a new document filed by lawyers for Vanessa Bryant on Thursday ahead of the trial where she is seeking damages from Los Angeles County for invasion of privacy over sharing the damn graphic photos. The photos were taken by police officers and firefighters at the site of the helicopter crash in Calabasas where Kobe Bryant and his daughter and seven others died. In January 2020. In the new documents filed on Thursday, Vanessa attorney Lewis Lee wrote that pretrial evidence has shown that the close up photos of Gianna's remains and Kobe's remains were passed around and shown off in bars. Uh, how disgusting. Lee also alleged that Los Angeles County officials engaged in a cover-up destroying the direct forensic evidence of their misconduct and requiring extensive circumstantial evidence to establish the full extent of the misconduct. You know, you know people not only of California and Los Angeles, but of the world, of the United States, we deserve better. We deserve better to, to be paying taxes to groups that do shit like this to the citizens. And the only thing going to stop this shit if we, is, is that people can understand what in the hell they are more alike and focus on that than they are different then we might get somewhere because who in their right mind would want this to happen to their loved one? It ain't going to happen because, of course, racism, white supremacy, and the, 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 color, the, the color construct is too strong. But if this was the police chief's loved one or any one of those sheriffs who I know was white, you don't even got to tell me. These was white boys that did this shit. And they do like to do stuff like that. Doodle on the ground, doodle on people's bed, doodle in the White House, you know, all kinds of just morbid type of shit. Los Angeles uh, County has previously defended itself by saying the photos were not posted online or seen by the public aside from in a bar two days after the crash. Uh, in the incident, a bartender told a Patreon that an officer had just shown him the photo. The Patreon laid a complaint with the L.A. County Sheriff Office. That's how the shit got popping. Now, look here. In a new document filed, Vanessa's attorney states that a private citizen attended the 2020 Golden Mike Awards, a broadcast television awards night held less than a month after the crash, witnessed a L.A. County Fire Department Public Information Officer, Tony Embrenda, talking about the photos and showing them to others. It's not clear who he showed those photos to. He should be arrested if he's not, and he should be fired if he's not. Officials later said the photos were deleted and the witnesses did not see the photos for herself. Gia Wright. New documents were 
also revealed details that the photos were shown in at least two bars in the days following the crash. Y'all some dirty bastards. That's some dirty, dirty, dirty shit. I mean, just really. Oh, my God. A bartender in Bellflower, California, states they spoke to a patron who relayed graphic details after observing photos of the victim's remains from a friend in, in law enforcement who had been stationed at the crash scene to provide security and to keep the coyotes away from the bodies. Vanessa has previously said that the photos showing the death of her husband and daughter were out there caused her constant fear and anxiety and that she was having trouble sleeping and was depressed as a result. You know, waiting on the day that her daughter and husband pop up on the internet, the dead bodies. She says she has been contacted by internet creeps telling her they'll share the gruesome photos online, although those threats have yet to come to a fruition. Vanessa also says she has seen one photo of her husband's body and it sickens her to see Kobe's body pop up as suggested search on Google when she types her late husband's name into the search box. Six of the couple's family and friends and the chopper, I mean, and the pilot also died in the chopper. This is insane. It's insane. The whole thing is so rather disgusting and pathetic. Um, Especially coming from law enforcement and um, firefighters, public servants, civil servants. I, I can't believe that they would actually do this. And I guess it take all kinds, you know, they're so morbid and warped that they think that that is something nice to pass along to a gala just to have some attention that they got Kobe Bryant's dead body. That is so disgusting that I, you know, I can't even finish reading the article because I'm just, I'm, I'm just, ugh. And she told the sheriff, she said, um, can, if you can bring my husband and my baby back, please make sure no one takes photos of them. If you can't bring my husband and my baby back, please make sure nobody takes photos of them. And he assured her, oh, no, no, that won't, definitely that won't happen. And they passing the shit around in bars. What y'all think about that? Yeah, I mean. Anyway. Listen, you guys. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe. Please um, share the channel. I'm trying to grow the channel. Please uh like the channel and please grow uh pass the uh video on um and let's um oh god I'm just sorry I just keep seeing Kobe Bryant and his daughter out in the field just disgusting just all the way around anyway I'll see you in the next video oh god